This is a super fast brand hack podcast. Hi, and welcome to today's episode where we're going to be discussing how you can boost your LinkedIn presence with SEO tools for articles and newsletters, plus some other updates that LinkedIn has rolled out in 2023 so far. To summarize the finer points before we get started, LinkedIn has rolled out SEO titles and descriptions for newsletters and articles, activity section optimization for your LinkedIn profile, increased discoverability of newsletters and LinkedIn search results, a centralized creator analytics dashboard, the ability to schedule articles and newsletter posts, and a one-click subscribe button and subscribe URL for newsletter subscription CTAs. Let's dive deeper into each of these updates now. One of the most exciting updates that LinkedIn's introduced is the ability to customize the SEO titles and descriptions of your articles. This feature will make it easier for your articles to be found when people search for specific keywords. To use this new feature, go to any of your articles, you must have at least published one, click on the publishing menu, and then click settings. You'll see a box pop up with two different options where you can change the article's SEO title and another for the SEO description. It's important to make sure that your title and description accurately reflect the content of your article and contain relevant keywords. Remember, LinkedIn is powered by Microsoft. It knows a little bit more than we think it knows, so you don't want to use any keyword stuffing. Just accurately describe what your content's about so the right people can find it. A second feature that LinkedIn's added is a centralized location for analytics and creation tools. And by this, I mean the content you're posting through your profile, not a LinkedIn business page. This new feature will make it easier for you to look at insights, decide what's working, and double down or remove things from your content strategy. If you want to access this feature, you do have to make sure creator mode is turned on. So if you don't already have creator mode turned on, you can do that from your profile while you're signed in. Once you've turned on creator mode, You'll want to select Analytics and Tools at the top of your profile, either on mobile or desktop. From there, you'll be able to access various creation tools and analytics, including audience insights, post performance metrics, and engagement metrics. It's a great way to start making data-driven decisions and improve your performance on the platform. Now, what I think is the most promising is the small but powerful changes that they've made to increase newsletter reach and discoverability. If you're a newsletter author or want to be one, You'll be excited to know that LinkedIn has added several new features that will help make your newsletters more discoverable and visible in addition to the SEO title and descriptions. It's now possible to schedule newsletter and articles. That means if you are a fan of blocking your content ahead of time and planning it in advance on platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you can now do the same thing with your articles on LinkedIn. If you want to use the new feature, Simply tap the schedule button in the share box inside of your article draft, and it will give you the option to select the date and time you want your article to go live. LinkedIn also wants to make it easy for you as a newsletter author to get your newsletter in front of the right audience. So they've created a one-click subscribe link and an embeddable subscribe button. Now what this means when someone clicks it, they're not just going to go to a window that shows them your most recent article, it's going to prompt them to subscribe right then and there. They're going to be able to subscribe with one click. And it seems simple, but removing that one extra step, that one extra click, will, statistically speaking, greatly increase your conversions to subscribers. And this also means that people can subscribe to your newsletter without even being on the LinkedIn platform. You can embed the button or use the links on your social profiles and emails and anywhere on your website that you want to add a CTA. If you're looking for some inspiration on different ideas to make your CTAs more compelling, look at the show notes. In the corresponding article for this episode, I've created a list of 15 CTA ideas for your LinkedIn newsletter subscribe button just to get your brain going and to make sure you're taking action. Make sure you click that link in the show notes if you want to see them. And then one last thing, LinkedIn is enhancing newsletter discoverability by making them more visible in the search results. Though they haven't shared much detail on this, I have had LinkedIn articles indexed on Bing for many years already, but I've always found it a bit bulky to search for content within the native search on LinkedIn's platform. I expect that these improvements will be made to both the internal search feature and the discoverability of LinkedIn articles on Bing. You know, with the advent of AI, search engines will be competing with each other to feature more first-person, authentic content. And a great place to derive that content is from the largest social network of professionals in the world. And if that's not a compelling reason for you to start your LinkedIn newsletter, 
or if you already have a newsletter to start thinking about how you can use it in more creative ways to reach new people and to optimize the new SEO accessibility of LinkedIn articles. I think there's no better reason and no better time to get started than now. And that's it for this episode on how you can boost your LinkedIn presence with the latest SEO tools and updates to the LinkedIn platform so far this year. I want to leave you with one last parting tip. So go ahead and click that subscribe or that follow or that like button or open up a comment because you want to give your feedback and share your own ideas. And while you're doing that, a tip you should know is that there is no limit to the number of hashtags you can use in a LinkedIn article. It's not like Instagram where they don't want to see more than 30 and your description will suddenly disappear if you include more than 30 hashtags in your post. You can add as many as you want to a LinkedIn article. However, you should know that once you've added your hashtags, you can't edit or remove them, although you can edit the rest of your article however you want to. Your profile must also be public for people to find your article through hashtag searches. So if you've ever made your LinkedIn profile private in the past or it's always been private, it might be worth double-checking now that your search visibility is public because there's no point in publishing all these articles with the goal of increased reach and discoverability if your articles will be not visible in search results. So there you have it. With all these new abilities to customize your LinkedIn articles and your profiles and get more metrics, I really think LinkedIn's going to be a great tool to use in 2023 to grow your brand, grow your business, grow your network. I have a ton of fun on LinkedIn. If you're not already connected with me there, just look me up. It's Kat, K-A-T-T, Wagner. Connect with me on there. It's one of my favorite places to hang out and talk and learn and laugh all in the same place. And it's a great place to take a break if you get tired of the things that take place on Facebook and Twitter. If you do prefer Facebook or use it somewhat, there is a brand hacking Facebook group that I've started. Communities are powerful, so I'd love to have you in there. That's brand hacking on Facebook. Just search for it or use the link in the show notes, and I'll be sure to approve your request readily. But anyway, thanks for listening and stay tuned for more tips and insights on how to succeed on LinkedIn and beyond. Brand Hacking is a brand new podcast hosted by Kat Wagner. Kat has helped hundreds of professionals in the music, retail, and real estate space build big brand power with small and simple steps. Be sure to like and subscribe to Kat's future tips on building an unbeatable brand.